Hello, this is Ingress Agent 57 Cell, and I just got a message in Telegram to have a look at Poland. So when I did, when I opened Intel and zoomed in on Poland, this is what I saw. Just solid green everywhere. It literally, you cannot see anything except this solid, solid green. Um, what's going on here is the Polish Enlightened have made 174 fields. If we zoom out, we can see they are not small fields. Um, they are literally, this triangle is about the size of England. Um, it covers a good percentage of Poland itself. It would easily swallow up. It would easily cover entire European countries. And what's really special about it here, um, 174 layers is already pretty special, but let me show you how they did it. If you look at what, if you look at the triangle here in my view, you'll notice these weird, weird annotations on these two corners. Those annotations are drawn by my co-located portals plugin. Co-located port, the co-located portals plugin help will help you find portals if you have any that are on exactly the same location. So what you can see is down in the south, they have a tripled portal, three portals on exactly the same latitude and longitude. And there in the north, this bullseye target practice thing, that's because they've got five portals, f a quintupled portal, if you like, five portals with exactly the same latitude and longitude. In other videos on this channel, you can see the kinds of things you can do with a with a doubled portal, with a quintupled portal even. Um, you can make fielding plans that just would not be possible otherwise. Check out my playlist on those and, and you can see some things that can be done there. Now, with this, what these guys have done is, first of all, let me show you. I'll switch off fields at the moment for a moment. First of all, they've carved a pathway joining the location of the quintupled portal with the tripled portal. And then they've linked each one of these five portals with each one of the three down the bottom, a total of 15 base links. And then they've made a herringbone. They've made a herringbone pattern, but now because they don't just have one base link, they've got 15. They would have been dreaming of getting 15 fields for every single portal on the spine there. As it is, they've got 174 layers. That is absolutely no joke. 174 fields here. Literally, there's enough MU here to about double the global enlightened MU score. If I switch fields back on, right now you are looking at 50% of all enlightened MU in the entire world right now. 33% of all fields captured by either faction are right here in this view here. Now we're going to zoom right in and see how close they came to that dream of 15 fields per portal on the spine. Here there's 174 fields. I've got here my field, my layer counting plugin. 174 fields here. 171 here. So this portal only gave them three layers. Only. Ha ha ha. Normally you'd get one layer per per portal on a spine, but they've got three. But then this one, and this one gave four. This portal here, if I click on either side of it, this one only gave them one field. They've gone to all this trouble They've, of finding these specific multiplied portals, and they're not getting the promised zillions of fields out. And then things get even worse. 166 layers here and 166 layers there. This portal literally gave them no fields. And then this one also no fields. What on earth is going on? Can you imagine how they would have been feeling? They, they must have spent weeks or months planning this, finding these duplicated portals, finding the agents to somehow carve out room for that base link, collecting all the keys that they needed, and then 
portal after portal after portal is giving them literally no fields. I cannot imagine how they must have felt. And then, you know, each time the Intel operator says, we don't know why it hasn't worked. Go, go to the next portal and try again. What is going on? No fields, no fields, no fields. It's um, only after a while that they, they managed to figure out some of the secret. So they're now, from, from about here, this denser area, they're getting five fields per portal, which must have been a huge relief to them. But it's still not 15. They've got 15 base links. Why are they not getting 15 fields per portal? Or more importantly, how could they get as many port fields per portal as possible out of this situation? The closest they came was a portal approaching the end of the operation. This portal right here that's circled there. Let's just have a look at it. You cross that line, you get... It gave them 10 fields. 86 here, 76 here. This portal, let's see what it's called, gave them 10 fields. It's called... I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, the I don't know much Polish. I learned a little bit of Polish from a friend in school. Uh, two sentences. Ja jestem wariat, which means, can I have some tea, please? That's what he told me. And ja jestem jebos, which means, why are you backing away slowly? Anyway, this portal, crazy, pretty dodgy, let's call it. Not crazy, not dodgy at all. That gave them 10 fields. 10 fields on one portal is the most they got in this operation. And in the rest of this video, I want to talk about why. Why do they sometimes get none and sometimes get 10 and get in between? Could they have gone further and got 15 or could they not and why? And most importantly, how can you plan your link orders from these portals to the anchors of the base link so that if you find some doubled or quadrupled portals and build a herringbone like this to make sure that you get the maximum possible number of fields. The key to understanding what's going on is in this clip where we were doing experiments with crossed links. Just have a look at this. Now, are we ready for the central link? Look at that mess. <laughs> okay, I'm going to link from I'm going to link from Fruity Friend Sculpture to Wooden Hawk Carving, which will close those four triangles simultaneously. Are you recording? Yep, I'm recording. Bang. No fields. It gave no fields. <laughs> That's a surprise. But you love that. <laughs> well, that's not a bad set of null fields then. Oh, you... <laughs> oh, no, I feel ripped off. <laughs> you like it. I feel ripped off. Yeah, yeah. It would have been nice to get four fields instead of none, but hey. It seems like Niantic has a rule in place that means if you make three or more triangles, not counting triangles fully inside others, if you make three or more triangles, you get no fields. Two triangles, two fields. Three, four, five triangles, no fields. Which means if you've got a quintuple portal, it's really easy, for example, to make five triangles at once, which will give you no fields. And that, I think, is what went wrong with some of these portals that they were struggling with. Let's just have a look at an animation of that. So here, it looks like we've got three portals, but there's actually nine portals there. The bottom two portals are duplicated, co-located. There's three portals together in the same place on the left and five on the right. Now, for the rest of the animations, I'm going to draw those portals in different places. But remember, they're all exactly in the same place, those portals down the bottom. We're going to get the cream tangerine agent to come 
and try to link them up to make a whole bunch of fields. First they capture all the portals and link them all together. Uh, that's quite a bit of work already. And then they're going to go to the top portal and start linking to the base portals. One on the right, then one on the left, then one on the right, then one on the left. And what you'll see is every time they close a triangle, it will make a field until they are closing three or more triangles. Let's watch that happen now. First they throw a link to the right and then to the left and that makes a field. No surprises there. Then they throw another link to the right and make another field because they've now just closed another triangle. But now that they've linked to two portals on the right, if they throw to the left again, it closes two triangles and makes two fields. Are you ready? There. So their fields have gone up from 2 to 4. And now the same thing applies if they now link to the right again. It will close two fields because they've linked to two portals on the left. And so their fields will go up from 4 to 6. Are we ready? Now. Because they had only linked to two portals on the left, making a link to the right closed two triangles. They got two fields. But now Cream Tangerine's going to make a mistake. They've already linked to three of the portals on the right and they link to the one on the left which closes three triangles and makes no fields. Now that they've linked to three or more on each side, there are no more fields to be had here. Six is all they get from this portal. Now I said only six, but they could have done a lot worse. Let's rewind this and see what happens if they link to all the portals on one side before they link to the other. So you can see they're linking to all three of the portals on the left. And then they're going to start linking to the right. But what do you think is going to happen? Each link to the right will close three triangles and there'll be no fields at all. No fields at all. So that, I think, is what was going wrong on many of the spine portals of that Polish op. It's also no use linking to all of the portals of the quintuple because then when you link to the triple you're closing five triangles with every link and again you'll get absolutely no fields. As soon as you've thrown your third link to one side, one anchor of your big base link there, as soon as you've thrown your third link, there's no more fields to be had by throwing links to the other side. So the best you can possibly do with a triple and a quintuple is just to pretend that the triple, that one of them's not there, that it's just a doubled portal. So at last, tangerines watch this video, they throw two links to the left and then every link to the right will give them two fields and they will get 10, which is the maximum they can get from this portal arrangement, 10 fields. So there we go. Um, and that's how the Polish team got 10 fields for that one. That must be how they got 10 fields for that one portal in the middle of their operation. Just imagine if they'd got 10 though for every single spine portal. It would have been absolutely astounding. It still is absolutely astounding, of course, but now that you've seen this video, if you can find a, you just need a double portal and another portal, which is, well, as high a multiple as possible. Uh, you know, there's one in Poland there. You could use that one maybe, um, or look for one. Download my IRTC plugin. The link is in the description and look for co-located portals in your area or somewhere on your continent at least and see if you can make, see if you can crack this record of 174 fields using co-located portals. Um, go for it. Uh, this is a, that's about all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think. Anyway, that's about all from me for this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.